Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Gardening Day in the Bay where I talk about my gardening experiences in the Bay Area. So today I wanted to talk to you about how to make amaryllis bulbs bloom year after year. You could use amaryllis as an annual plant and kind of get rid of the bulbs after they are done blooming for the year, but that can get expensive in the long run. I don't like to do that and I don't like to waste plants. So how do you make them re-bloom every year? So let's get started. All right, you see here guys, these are four amaryllis bulbs. One, two, three, and four, okay? These four bulbs, I had actually stored them away in a dark uh, closet or, or in the garage. Uh, I mean, you can store it anywhere where it is dark. Um, that, that actually induces dormancy in these bulbs. And uh, basically you do this during the month of October. Uh, maybe even like late September, that's fine too. Uh, what you need to do is uh, you just take the whole bulb uh, along with the pot and then you just store it in a cupboard or like in a cool place, but a dark place. It's very important that it is dark. And then you leave it there for, I would say, two to three months. Um, or maybe, you know, like 12 weeks, you know, um, eight to 12 weeks. And once you bring it out, you basically, you can clean it out. You see here, I've done my share of cleaning. So I removed all the older, um, you know, dried leaves, uh, sorry, uh, dried area around the bulb. So basically what you do is just clean it up. This is just so that it looks fresh, guys. There's really no other reason to do this. But you know, if you wanna, if you wanna display it, right, in a nice place, you wanna make sure that it is, it's nice and beautiful, right? So you take out all the older leaves. See here, you just take out all of that stuff and so there's like freshness, right? You reveal the fresh soil, fresh bulbs. There. I mean, it doesn't need to be pristine, it's up to you guys. If you want it pristine, you can, but I kind of just like to clean it up a little bit. And once that is done. Uh, water it just a little bit right there just a touch water it a little bit doesn't need to be fully drenched in water there so you see here the the, the soil is just a little bit moist and then you leave it guys you leave it till you see these shoots well, the, this I actually pulled out a little bit earlier, this particular plant, so it had already started, you know, um, giving, uh, giving me shoots. But these, I, I just pulled it out. So basically what you do is, you just leave it till you see shoots. So you see here, let me see if I can, I can, I can focus it for you guys. There, that's better. You see that little itty bitty thing over there? That's actually new shoots, right? Once you see new shoots, um, then you can just treat it as in like a, like a house plant. Just start watering it and you'll see the leaves grow and then you will get flowers out of those as well. And I will update you in the next video with those flowers. These are actually beautiful red flowers. If you haven't watched my video on uh, planting these amaryllis bulbs, uh, I'm going to put a link right below in the description. Please go ahead and click on it and you will learn all about how to actually get these amaryllis bulbs planted and growing. That's all for today friends and uh, thank you for, uh, for watching me and please do subscribe and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up. That helps me quite a bit. Thank you very much. Bye bye. See you soon.